Hey, what's up, guys? It's Iron G player back in the game for another video today. I'm gonna be talking about Commander Legend spoilers right now. Today is November 3rd. I know I'm a little bit late to this, but it's just been like, doing so much other stuff, so. Yeah, I've seen everything else. I mean, you can check all this other stuff. But I'm gonna talk about what's up here. And actually, I'm also gonna talk about uh, the second, uh, November 2nd. I'll talk about those cards as well. We'll start from the top. Yeah, and also at the end, give my thoughts on this set, how I feel. Alright, so it's like Sakashima's Protege, uh, 3-1, uh, Cascade, Flash, so it's good, uh, you have it, just a copy of any permit to enter the battle this turn, okay, so that's interesting, a Flash, which is, uh, uh, what is it, Stunt Double, yeah, that's what it's called, yeah, it's Flash, so two more mana, so it's two more mana, but you also get that Cascade, but the problem is it's only as things that end in the battle so you, but you can do things with this like like they play their thing and then you get it or or you can just get something nice off the cascade five or less and then bring them i mean it's kind of harder to use you have to set this up and it's like it's not like stunt double clone or clever in person where you just or sparked up all the other good like four mana clones where you just get you just get it you just get the card for free you know, but this one you have to set up because it has to enter the battlefield Next up, this card, <laughs> Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, uh, when it's battlefield, as an in it's battlefield, it's another copy of a creature control except it has Sakashima of a Thousand Faces other abilities, the legend rule does not apply to permanent, <laughs> so mere gallery, so yeah, so legend rules are no longer apply, that is kind of dumb, <laughs> that ability in commander is just so good, because if you partner this with like some other Good. There's probably some other good partner you can abuse this with and make multiple copies of that. You can go off, and also Sakashima can also just also be another copy of something. You're all right, you can just be a copy of your other commander and just makes everything, all the legend rules will not apply. It's only to you control, not your opponent's. It's to permit you control. So that was this. Ar Army of Arrows, when a creature attacks with counter on it, two mana, equip two, and eh. Not that good. Not that good. Alright, this we have Master Smith, when an equipped creature or chain creature attack that gains double strike. Eh, just typical Boros, not good. <laughs> it's just a two mana two two that does that I guess. I mean I mean it's just what Boros does, it's not better than like the other Boros can commanders. Like a Kiri's way better. Like draws you card and gives you protection. Mandarin Reaper, I mean I mean that's not to say it's mana drain. One of the best counter spells. <laughs> like probably like a top. Ten counters well. Like, I think like the free counters are probably the best ones. Swan Song's very good. And I mean yeah. The mana range good too. It's only two mana and also you get that man you get the mana of their thing. Alright next up Hole Breacher. Three two uh flash. If an opponent would draw a card except the first one you draw 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 it and each other draws it instead instead you create a <laughs> so uh notion thief, but instead that's man so so you notion thief, but you get mana instead of cards. <laughs> so, you, but you prevent their drawing, but you, instead you get treasures. That's just that's rude. You just get to turn into treasures, like. <laughs> so this card's great. Like if someone goes to play a mass draw and you just play this, you just get all that treasure. That's just that. That's just a big blow up. Obviously, it needs to be timed right though. Yeah, the thing is, I think Notion Thief is more, you know, even though this makes a lot of mana, the, the Notion Thief just drawing all those cards, it's just, bruh. Oh yeah, but let's see, Esor, Wardring Familiar, 1-3, and spells your opponent's guys to target one more commanders, you control cost three more. Partner, okay, eh, decent. Alright, next up, you're on our color of the Wirewood. 1-2, half pedigree, when you spend this mana to cast a spell, Career current six or greater. Draw card. Okay, so big dumb things and partner. That's it. So it it's a bad dork, but if you but late game if you spend this mana into big things, you draw cards. And it's not even creature, it's just a spell. So you can I guess you can combo this with some other things, I don't know. The thing is right now, there's just so many partners. Like I there's gonna be probably things you can break easily. Like so many of them. At least there's like not that many and there's only ten. Now we have, like, I think, like, around, like, I think, how many partners do we even have? I think, like, so many now. 
Like, the combinations are insane. I mean, I like the fact that it allows for unique decks, but I also don't like the fact that there might be a lot of things you can break. Alright, so I have Annoyed Altasaurus, 6-5 Trample Cascade for 7. Not Reach Trample. Eh. Not that good. I mean, it's, it's made to meh. I mean, I guess from your Cascade deck, you'll play that. Alright, next up. Some reprints, Konami's Reach, Generous Gift, Rayon. Good cards. Rayon's cool. He was the one, he was the original partner. He was pretty cool. Uh, Generous Gift, pretty much just Beast Within, but for a white and a Reach. I mean, staple card. Alright, Care Metro, uh, again. Reprint, very good. Like it. Alright, alright, next, uh. He, he, uh, Salvage Spicer, okay. 5 mana 1, one nine. that's not a good rate. Let's see what it does. Makes a 3 3 Golem, okay. When Arfrex went to a graveyard from the battlefield, put plus one plus one counter on that and on the, on each golem. Okay. So, green usually doesn't go into the artifact themes, but sometimes they do like weird things like this. So this is interesting. Where are the artifacts went to the graveyard? From the battlefield, okay. So, I mean, you can do things like, like the artifacts that sat like artifacts that crack themselves like you can bring them back and stuff maybe make a lot of things but maybe just make your things big i mean i don't see too much you can do with this i mean just like a cute little card you can do some maybe like nifty interaction maybe there's something i'm not seeing and it might be just very good like some nev's this reprint not nev's nev, nev's this is an annoying card because like once someone has it you just have to be like it's just you can't you can't play to the board but a good thing to do is if someone has it, if someone has it, you just have to tell everyone at the table, okay, we're just going to target you until you blow it up, because, well, I guess I wouldn't say that, unless, like, like, they play, and then, like, there's someone who's, like, about to go off, and you need, and you want them to blow it up, and, like, maybe hold it up against their head to not go off, but, I guess, and that, but, I, like, you're just all stalemated, and then someone just plays in the Nephthys, no, everyone target that player now, because, Otherwise, Nevsis can get too much value because if you just let them hold it, like, hold it, no. And yeah, just don't commit to the board, really, unless it's something that's it's gonna, like, maybe, like, ETB get you some value right now and you don't care if it dies. And speaking of this, Nevinural, Orvorx Tyrant. So, 3 6, Hexproof from Artifact, Creatures, and Enchantments. When enters, you have to make a 2 2 zombie tab for each creature token that died this turn. So, tokens, and also. When it dies, pay one nebs this. Destroy all creatures and artifacts and enchantments. I mean, yeah, it's this is his this, and this is Nevinural. Yeah, so. Good. Hexproof from creatures. That can do things. Uh, and then. Then creature tokens. So this is like a. I guess you do tokens. And then also, you don't care if you load up the board because you're just gonna make more tokens and then just keep blowing it up again just keep making a bunch of tokens and maybe you have like something like enchantment like uh bash and remembrance a new one where every single time they die you get like a, a drain and you can just try to drain them out like that when i guess i guess that's something you can do all right let's see what this is react king of lanohar l4 vigilance menace uh its power and toughness are equal to the number of elves plus the number of you drill plus the number of elves in your graveyard okay so it can be like a big thing and I guess so I guess like a couple trying to ask you make this really big and just try to kill them alright all right, Rex Sage I mean you're right those two one blows up an artifact enchantment good card on the creature uh, not enough skeleton negative two negative two until another turn I mean for four mana I, mean, I guess I'm trying to I guess do some things with Ultra but I'll just call it. I'm, it's a reaper and I, I, don't, I don't know what it's called but I know what it does it just you can pump it up a bunch Wait, actually, we're we talking about this, though. Azermi of the Dead Tide? This card. <laughs> Exile cards from your graveyard equal to the number of a bunch you have. Target creature in your graveyard gains Encore. And, like, Encore is honestly a dumb ability. It's pretty much just a myriad from the graveyard. It's dumb. Good. So, you, uh, so you create a token of that for each for each opponent, and then it attacks that opponent if able. Then you second at the end step. So you can bring back uh, anything, 
if you have this and then you have like so it's Takashima now, and then you play like something like like an Ulama. <laughs> No, like you just <laughs> uh you can do things with this card you can abuse this card, definitely. Fill your graveyard up and then exile and then play bring out your dumb big things, win. Yeah, or Spark Harvest, I mean this is a pretty recent card. One and then you have to sack some you have to sacrifice a creature or pay four. And then yeah, you just sorry, creature planeswalker. What's this? Okay. Flame can herald? Elemental Wizard and Commander Spellship Cascade. Ooh. That actually is very good. So 3 tune in all your commanders when you play them Cascade. That's pretty great. Let's see. Jury, Mess of the Review. When you sacrifice a permanent, put a counter on it. And when it dies, it deals damage you. Okay, so, uh, what's it called? I forgot. But that's good. You can make this big and then it's like, oh, if you kill it, I'm gonna like, do a bunch of damage to you or kill some of your things. So it could be interesting. Alright, next. Pro of Dark Tidings when it enters the battlefield or dies, mill two. Okay. So that's uh, like Citrus Supplier, but like Flyer and more expensive. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Deranged uh, Assistant, 1 1 mill card, tap out of mana. A colorless. I mean, it's not bad. It actually can be good. You can mill, mill yourself in lots of decks, it's useful. And then that mana return. Alright, then. Ghastly Demise. Destroy an black creature. If it's tough, it's, it's less than or equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. Okay, so yeah. So one mana removal spell on a non black, pretty much, because in the deck you're playing this thing, you're just gonna. This is a deck where you like just want. You're gonna be milling yourself, so yeah, you have enough to just kill anything. Plus, this commander's plate. Two gifts gets plus three plus three, and that's protection from each color that's not in your commander's color. And then equip three on commander, equip five. So that's good. Uh, plus D plus three, protection from each color. If you're running a full five color, you just have protection from everything. So yeah, if you're on a full five color, it's protection from everything. One to put that. One, it's a one minute commit. So three to equip. That's four. For a commander, then six for a regular creature. I mean, it can be good. You can, in Voltron decks, you're definitely running this. Obviously. Still could Voltron card, I guess. I mean, in a lot of other decks, you're not going to see this card. Alright. Shifter Worm, 7-7 seven, seven for 7. Trample, when it's a field, scry 3. Then reveal the top card of your library. In life, you go to its convert mana cost. Okay. It's an eh card. I mean, the scry 3 is decent. I mean, but you don't really care about revealing, getting life. Face Feathers, legit, was in... What, M21? Oh, uh, yeah, M21, so... I mean, that does gain 4 and then... Uh, pretty much, uh... Pacifism's in, also you can't activate its abilities. Alright, let down the Boundless Dawn. Okay, this is a good card. 2-2, two, 4-4, two, four, four, for 4. That's not... 2-2 two, two for 4, lifelink. Uh, at the beginning of each end step, if you gain life that turn, distribute up to that many plus one plus one counters among any other targets. Okay. That's good. So, yeah, big life gain deck, I guess. I mean, they're not that... Like, big life gain decks aren't really that good, because infinite life, even if you have... Or, like, infinite life or close to it, in commander sometimes well, it doesn't matter, because you can you can get killed by... just other ways to win the game, pretty much, so... Even though infinite life sounds like it's good, it's not as good. Infinite damage, though, that's a different thing, because infinite damage on those five, no one has a reaction to that, wins you the game. Tana, good reprint. Yeah. I mean, one of the great potters. Like, this, like, Timna is definitely, like, like, you see that, you see freaking Timna, Thrasios, and Timna Tana. Like, that's, because those are just the competitive decks. Those are, like, those are, like, the tier one decks. Very good. Alright, next up. Uh, Nightshade Harvester. 2-2, two, two, whenever a lane is the battlefield, and then the opponent's control that player loses one life, put a counter. Ooh, that's nasty. They lose a life, so. 
I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it's this makes this big. So, I like. I mean, I like the fact that punishes have your land based strategy. So like, oh, play this. It's not land destruction, but I'm gonna hurt you. If you want to keep, if you want to keep ramping up, okay, yeah, but you're gonna lose a bunch of life, and my thing's gonna be super big. It's gonna hit you. So I do like that's punishing them. All right, next up, necrotic hex. Each player sacrifices six is six creatures, who then create six tapped two two black zombies. Okay, I mean, let me think. So hex, I mean, hex is not really a good card, honestly. This this is not really good either. Pretty much, you kind of wipe the field, but you just give everyone two two black two tapped black zombies, and you're not gonna be able to even be able to first to act with them. Because, because, when they're functioning, they have something. It's like, oh, they, oh, he wiped the board. Okay, we're all gonna attack you with your zombies that you just gave us. Like, and because yours are still gonna be tapped, but they're gonna have their zombies. So yeah, this is not good at all. Because you're gonna have your tapped zombies. You're gonna pass, and then they're gonna untap. They're gonna, they're not gonna be summoning sick. It's like, oh, he just blew up our thing. So let's just go attack him. So yeah. Like okay, and you're just gonna be taking, and six per player. And if you have a three player game, six times two, thirty six life. You're losing thirty six life there if you don't have a response to them. But if you do, why would you just give them this? So this is not good. Hex is like better. Even though hex is not really good card, it's just six mana that destroys six creatures at sorcery speed. I mean, it's, it's kind of a board wipe. But it's, it's six creatures is a lot. That's maybe someone's full board or like half of two people's boards or like a third of everyone's board, except yours. All right, except Path of the Shadow Cat. Two two commanders have menace and death touch. Meh. How many cards are here? We can talk about these. Hey right, guys, we can talk a little bit about these. Uh, Imanti Celebrant of Bounty three one Cascade. Spells you cast a commander cost six or greater cascade dam. So, yeah, big things. So this is just a big green deck. You ramp. I mean, this is just an degenerate deck. You ramp up. Play your dumb things. Just pull your board of dumb creatures. Have your counter spells in blue ready to protect them. Like, just green blue. Like, green blue like needs to be stopped. Like, green blue is just dumb. Like, the thing is, it has everything you need. There's legit nothing. And, like, green, too. Green, especially. I think green is, has been given a lot too much. It's like, in casual commander, like, in the levels between, like, 8 and lower, green is definitely the best color. I'd say in CDH, probably blue, because blue has all the answers. And a lot of, like, the old cards that do infinite combos and stuff. But the thing is... Green is down to a point where legit the only thing it does not have is counter spells. It legit has everything else. Before in the old days, it, it it didn't have two things: card draw, and removal. For creatures, and it, it still had the enchantment removal and artifact, and it had the ramp. The problem with ramping too much is that you can over ramp, have no cards left. But in recent days, they gave us a bunch of good creature based cards: like Guardian Project, Great Henge, Beast Whisper. That's a good card too. Bunch of other things that just draw you cards when you play creatures and then oh yeah oh yeah green doesn't have removal fight it has fight now or like the rabid bite type effects where your creature deals damage pretty much fight well one-sided fight that's what it is so pretty much just green has just got has everything except counter spells legit that's all it has everything so i think in, like in casual commander it's probably the best color like when the level where you're not CDH, green is definitely the be best color. I say if you're not blue, probably is better because it has the answers and a lot of the combos. So, all right, right next up, we shape the earth six green, green, green. Search your library up to ten lands. This is not going to be too good. At when you're at nine mana, that's not what you want to do. Unless you're a big landfall deck, then I guess that's the only time a big landfall deck. That's the only time this is really good because at nine mana, you don't need more mana. 
you know, especially at that big of a level, 10 lands. So yeah, when you untap it and you play your land, you have 20 mana, but you, are you gonna have anything to do with it? That, that you need all that 20 mana for? Not really. Scholar Ages, not a good card. And yeah, reprint. Uh, Rashka, the Bazer. Whenever it attacks, put target creature card from defending player's graveyard to the battlefield. Whoa. Mmm. Defending player's graveyard. Okay. So you can do things with that. Definitely. An Encore 8. <coughs> oh, Encore is so good. You just make three copies. Swing it. It's great. This card's nasty. I mean, no one's gonna, if, when you play this, when you first play this, no one's letting this live. It's, they're not letting you attack you with this. But then you're gonna Encore hit everyone. Yeah, so. That Encore though, for eight mana, get, get three creatures back. And also maybe do six to each player. That's also, that's just super good. All right, I know, I know what. Uh, Noxious Dragon. Flying 4-4 when it dies, you may destroy target creature from your cost three or less. Okay, good card. Let's get something small. Uh, Nadir, Agent. <laughs> Going through a phase. I don't know. Yeah, it says, whenever a token leaves the battlefield, put a plus encounter on it. Okay. When it leaves the battle, we create a number of one of green one one it's equal to its power. So this is like reverse Marwin, pretty much. Marwin the Nurturer, she was three mana. That's sad and green. And what she did was she, oh yeah, she tapped out the green and she tapped, well, she tapped to add green mana equal to her power and also whatever creature in your battlefield she got, I think. But this is, uh, this is pretty much everything leaving the battlefield. She gets a counter, and then when she leaves, she makes a bunch of elves. Okay, so they're really trying to push this, like, elf thing. We'll see how well it does. Alright, next up, this. Uh, when the token leaves the battlefield, each one is one life gain one. So yeah, another one of these blooder type effects, but for tokens, oop. So really good. I mean, yeah. So, like, looks like they're trying to green in green by push the token elf theme. Okay, Fertilid. I mean, you already know what Fertilid does. It's green Reprieve and Resilient Standard. I mean, it's a fine card. Uh, this card was it do Armorcraft Judge when it's bad for Dark or for each creature you control for counter on it. Good card in those type of decks, like the plus one plus one counter decks. Which I, I see, like, they're getting a lot more support in game. Ooh, or ooze. Okay, so. It's plus one plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control. I can make a copy of this. Damn. So oozes get counters. So oozes get pumped up. I guess. I mean, that's good. I mean, you can guess you can make the ooze. Like, there's already the Biogenic Ooze from Ravnica Allegiant. That card's so good. It's like probably one of the best cards in that. Okay. See, I just ran field with five plus one plus one counters at six mana. Okay. When it or another creature dies, uh, you, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. And each creature with, with a with a plus put a plus one counter on each creature with a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. Pretty much just trying to put a bunch of plus one plus one counters around. So it just spreads it around, like a news does. You just keep spreading it around, and also as partner. Okay. Alright, I think it's fine. You can do things, I guess, if you have the right deck. I don't know what you partner with, though. Alright, next. Uh, Felt like you're familiar, 2-2. Two, two. Pretty much mini Psalm, so I'm not going to land this game 2, and when it dies, draw a card. I mean, Psalm is definitely better. One more mana, you get a land instead of two life, but definitely better. Fire Diamond, I mean, yeah, two mana, just a rock, then just tapped and adds a red. Boots. Boots is very good. I mean, Greaves is better. I know, I mean, well, Boots, when, when it's equipped, is better. But Grief, just, the fact that Grief's equips for zero, it doesn't seem like, a, oh, one mana versus zero, it actually makes a lot of difference. Because once you play, 
like if like you only have two mana if you have two mana and you have swift foot boots versus lightning boots you have the swift foot boots you can't equip it but if you have the lightning boots you can instantly attach it it's just it makes a big a big difference but there are these things where lightning grief you can get oofed like if like if you want to try to equip something to a creature but has lightning greaves on it you have to move it to a creature so there now is the moment where it's vulnerable and that actually happens a lot where someone's like okay i'm gonna move lightning greaves to a different creature equip do something and if someone responds and has a way to kill the creature that you took the lightning greaves off it just it feels bad all right more storm reprint i mean yeah fine card all right thought vessel again fine card two minute you no know, maximum hand size Akiri, Line Slinger, the original one, the partner. I mean, good. I mean, it's against what Boros Artifacts does. It's aggressive. Plus one, plus zero for each artifact you control. First Strike Vigilance. The Ravi, I mean, yeah, you know, the Ravi is dumb. <laughs> like, the fact that he just bypasses command attacks, I mean, he just does that. Like, like, like that's why Yuriko and bringing the Ravi are just dumb. Like, legit, they don't have to pay commando tax. So, they're just good. You never have to, there's no pr higher price you have to pay on, like, all the other commanders. And it's a, a fact or fiction. A good card. Four mana, look at top. Reveal the top five tier. I love this. This card is so cool. Like, in commander, like, you can make so many deals with this card. It's funny. All the cool things you can do with it. Like, 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 and if you make a deal with one, maybe they let you have all. Of the, they maybe let you have all the cards if you make a deal with them. It's, it's like it's a really political card you can use. All right, uh, coiling oracle. I mean, you already know what this does. Pretty much just look at the top, get a land. Or if not, it goes to your hand. Fine card, skeleton. I mean, it's a fine card. This card's like. I mean, it's not that good. I mean, I actually do run him in one deck of Anya because I can just keep getting him back after just discarding him and just keep looting him away, getting more cards off. Pretty much like just paying three mana, getting a big value engine. I even squeeze like in that deck way better. Squee. All right, victimize. Victimize is a <laughs> cool card. Sack. Uh, you, you sack. Well, choose two target creature cards in your graveyard, and you sack a creature, you get those two. Three mana, you sack one creature, you get two from your graveyard. That's just honestly, like, so good. You understand how good that is? You get legit a. Just one creature, and you get two. Tapped, okay, you probably use those. Care about what those abilities are to win, like. You can get so much value, like. It's a one for two. It legit, it legit just two for ones you. Well, in your favor. Alright, and then the last card we're going to talk about, I guess, is the Tormod's the Desecrator. Four two, when it, one or, no more, one or more cards leaves the graveyard, create two two zombie tapped partner. Okay. So it's like, uh, what is it? Open the graves or desecrated tomb, I think. Or maybe like bats or zombies or something also. So oh, yeah, fine card again. I mean, like, I don't know what, I like these partner cards, like, look cool, but I don't know what to partner them with. Like, there's so many options. Like, they over, I think they should have, they should have not had too many of these. I think they put too many partners. And there's probably going to be lots of things you can break with them. Just so many options, like. I mean, on one hand, I liked it for the uniqueness factor that you, you can see unique decks like okay you might see this one partner but you can see it partnered with something else and it being partnered with something else might make that deck completely different or like have some other different strategy maybe of how they win i like it in that fact but the fact that's going to make things a lot more confusing and like i think that's like all the time you're gonna, like if someone has like a partner pair of the new partners you're gonna have to read them all because you're not really going to memorize all these partners, really. Realistically, you're not memorizing every single partner and every single partner pair. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And average MGG player, out.